What's good, YouTube? It's your boy d aka Turtle, aka Young Goat. Man, I'm back with another YouTube video, man. Nah. Man, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I don't know if it was just me, bro, but like, that fight ain't feel like, like, it ain't feel like I watched nothing crazy, bro. Like, I understand how boxing be going, bro. I understand, you know, anything can happen, bro, but like, I just felt like the fight wasn't, it ain't smack how I wanted it to smack, bro. What the fuck, bro? Like, I, like look, bro, it was a good fight regardless. You feel me? I feel like we got to watch two young talents go at it, which is something that's always good for the sport of boxing. Um, for the sport of anything, just to see, you know, great, you know, individuals in any aspect get to go head to head. It's amazing, but, um, you know, especially when they work on their craft so much, and I feel like they, you know, they, they getting paid what they deserve to get paid, bro, and, and this shit. But, like, at the end of the day, bro, like, I feel like that fight could have been so much better, bro. Like, um, it started out great. It started out great. Um, Ryan started out great. I wasn't really rooting for nobody special. Um, You feel me? Because I ain't going to lie. I'm watching it. I'm rooting for Tank. For, you know, I'm, I'm, going, I'm going for Tank off the... Off the, you know what I'm saying, for my people and shit like that. But I'm also rooting for Ryan for the underdog uh, aspect. So I really wanted just to see a great fight in general. I just wanted a great fight. Um, you feel me? We started off, it was it was cool and all. Uh, but the only thing is, man, I'm not going to lie, bro. The way it ended ain't really, like, it felt like it left a, a, a this, like, I, I was dissatisfied. You know, Tank hit, hit that nigga with a nice little body shot, cool and all. Uh, but, like, end of the day, bro. I don't know. It just felt like it was one of the moments where it felt like that nigga could have got up. Like, I ain't trying to say, like, the shot wasn't strong enough to put the nigga down because obviously it put the nigga down, bro. But nigga could have got up, bro. And everybody, like, I don't want to hear nothing about no rehydration clauses and shit like that because even though I felt like that shit was kind of lame to have all that shit, bro, at the same time, bro, if you're going to take it, you got to take it. You got to live with it, bro. A nigga tell me, yeah, d -Lo, we about to fight, but you can't use your left hand. If if I agree to fight the nigga and not use my left hand, I can't use my left hand. I ain't gonna complain, like I only had one hand. So, um, what the fuck these dumbasses doing? So I'm not gonna complain about not having my left hand, bro. I gotta, I gotta live with it, you know, I took the fight. So, it's one of them things, bro, where yeah, he, you know, he body probably was more prone to body shots. He drained and shit like that. Cool, but like, it just felt like, bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I wanted to see a war, bro. Like, I ain't. I think it could have been expectations. Like, I think the ex my expectation of the fight was so high, and I ain't gonna lie. I don't even be putting expectations on a lot of stuff no more because I hate. I don't like the feeling of expecting something and then be being um dissatisfied with the outcome like right now like i'm dissatisfied i'm not gonna cut i'm not gonna cut man like it, it left it, it left not a sour taste in my mouth it, but i feel like it could have gave more i feel like ryan could have gave more but uh, tank did his thing you know tank did his thing bro you know he, he went in there and did what he was supposed to do you know what I'm saying? He was he was filling them out, seeing what he is about, seeing what he came in there with, what tools he brought to the match. Um, Ryan went in there. He was a little aggressive. Ryan came out aggressive. Uh, I don't know. If, I, I felt like the nerves. It, it did. It did seem like it was a little. It was like he was aggressive. He got that first knock. Now once he got hit, once he got hit that first time, though, that nigga kind of slowed down. If y'all peeped, he slowed down a little bit. Um started taking his time a little more but he still was kind of getting aggressive hands was coming down a lot uh but yeah he was he was getting some good punch. he still was landing some punches bro both of them was landing punches but tank was a like he was countering tank was countering being very patient filling out his opponent he was just he went in there and did what he was supposed to do bro both of them did you know what they what they what they could um and i just feel like it I felt like I just wanted to see, bro. I wanted to see bodies, nigga. I wanted to see good blows on both ends, bro. Like, I don't know, bro. I think my expectation was just too high. That's all, bro. And I ain't gonna lie. Like, this was my first time really buying a fight. Like, and there's so many fights I wanted to buy, bro. It's so many fights I wanted to buy over my over the course of, you know what I'm saying? 
like just hearing about fights and be like, oh, I want to watch that, I want to watch that. This was the, my first fight that I sat down and paid money for, bro. Like, I went and paid money. Like, I don't, niggas can be talking about anything. Niggas can be like, no, nah, you just was going for Ryan or you just was this. And Listen, bro. Listen, bro. I don't give a fuck who won the match. Like, people don't understand deep down, nigga. Both of them niggas is getting bags off of this fight, nigga. They're getting bags. Both of these niggas is getting a big ass bag, bro, off the fight, right? Um, nigga, millions. No matter how much money them niggas get, I'm not getting paid. I don't give a who win, nigga. Listen, nigga, I pay money. I want to see some shit, boy. I want to see some shit. I'm ready to see niggas go at it, bro. I want to see some dogs in the, bro. It's two pits in a ring, bro. I feel like for it to be, I feel like for the level for the for the caliber of fighters that were just in that ring, bro. I didn't get what I paid for, bro. I ain't gonna lie, I feel a little cheated, bro. Like, like I'm not gonna cap to you, bro. Like, and I ain't gonna, and it what made it worse, bro, that made me feel like I really was cheated. Like, I wish Ryan would've just stayed down, bro. Because if y'all peep, if you watch the fight, the nigga, the ref counting them out. One, two, three. Ryan looked, like he was like gathering himself like all right i'm about to get up now but i feel like he tried to get up a little too late like he tried to get up a little too late like i feel like he sat there on his knee on some all right let me get my little breath in he nodding at the ref and shit go watch he nodded at the ref looked off as soon as the ref got the nine he probably thinking i'm gonna jump straight up i bet bread i bet bread when he tried to jump up that motherfucking pay felt a little bit of pain in this shit and he couldn't get straight up like i bet you if he would try to stand up at seven instead of nine he would have been able to get up the nigga stood up at nine the ref the ref seen him standing up the ref like nigga it's too late now you know what i'm saying like nigga rules is rules like nigga i'm not i'm not gonna get you till 11 but it's too late now bro so i was a little dissatisfied bro and i feel like ryan should have stayed down because like i said he got all the way up at 10. Ryan was standing up at 10. Ryan was standing, like, bro, at 10 seconds, Ryan could have fought. No faking. Ryan could have got back in there. He probably could have got knocked back out right after that. The nigga could have got back in there, bro. So, I sat there, man. I paid that pay for that fight, bro. And I, I'm, a little, I'm I'm mad as hell. I ain't mad, bro. I'm glad I got to watch it, bro. But it just it left a sour taste in my mouth. Because I ain't gonna lie, man. Especially, nigga. I know I be gambling paid. And I didn't lost a lot of paper, and I didn't, I didn't blew a lot of paper, but bro, it's just different when you, when you go and you spend. Cause first off, me personally, nigga, I bought an app to watch that bitch. I bought an app, which I low key probably got cheated because I probably could have got a free trial off that bitch. But it was, I bought an app, D A Z N or Dazen, Dazen, whatever the fuck it's called. That app was twenty something dollars, and then the fight on the app for like the whole pay per view event was sixty dollars, bro. I came out of eighty dollars for the fight, bro. I'm not gonna watch nothing else on that app. There's no other fights coming out this month, I don't think. Or and if it is, if it's pay per view or probably worth fight watching, I probably gotta buy it. So it's like for me to blow. I spent eighty dollars to watch this fight, bro. And I see the nigga that lost standing on his feet at ten seconds, like he was standing up with the ref, walking around perfectly fine, bro. The nigga could have kept fighting, bro. Peace of positivity. That's all I preach, man. All I'm saying is the fight was cool. I'm glad I got to watch it. I'm, I'm enjoy it. I enjoyed it. I'm grateful. But yeah, bro. That nigga could have kept boxing at 10 seconds, bro. I could have seen more. I feel like I could have seen more. But my nigga Tank came in there. He did his thing. Ryan, my nigga Ryan went in there. He did his thing, bro. Did what he could. Peace up, positivity. That's all I preach, bro. I just wanted to see war. That's it.